Hello again guys, I'm gonna go ahead and make a short video on my lunch break. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about this very interesting topic that I found. Um, it's basically child labor in the early 19th century, specifically children in the coal mines. Now, between 1840 and 1842, like government um, inspectors were sent out to the Welsh coal fields to interview the children, and right there, they basically got an uh, in-depth look in how their work, um, like, what is it, the work, the work environment, how horrible it was for them. Now, to start off, coal mines were cramped, poorly ventilated, highly dangerous, and difficult to drain water from. Um, having poor ventilation meant the, the methane gas would basically just linger and stay there and could easily ignite and explode the whole mine. So that was always, that was always a, um, I want to say like a red flag for them. And, um, oh yeah, for the ventilation, so they had poor ventilation, they had to like make something, make uh, like a passage. So they did a ventilation, ventilating furnace ventilating furnace would be placed on the bottom of the shaft and then the furnace would basically create a draft so just imagine having a furnace in a coal mine that could be full of methane gas made of wood the furnace is made of um, lined with wood it's just asking for trouble um, if the drainage pumps failed as well the mine would flood so if it wasn't going to being engulfed it with flames then it would be flooded now the jobs for children now there were doorkeepers and the trapper um, often the youngest members because they were small it was a very small cramped place where they had to be in they op basically their job was to open and open and close the wooden doors to let the air go through once in a while and allow the, tu the tub of coal to go through they basically had to, st to stay there for 12 hours in the dark and if they I mean if they would fall asleep um, it could create a very 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 bad uh, basically domino effect where the air would stay there and it, something would explode and some, some I mean death would death would come if they would fall asleep um, now and the other job was the hurrier and the thruster now this this job was for older children or for women as well they basically they were in charge of pu um, pushing the tubs of coal up and down and these tubs were up to 600 kilograms all right and the harrier were harnessed to the tub so they were basically in the front and the thrusters would be in the back pushing with the other hands or the top of their heads when they would be pushing with the top of their heads since they would do that for hours and hours day after day it would basically make them bald so just imagine a little five six year old with a bald spot because of his job for him pushing 600 kilogram tub full of coal um, and where they would be pushing it, it was only about 60 to 100, 120 centimeters high. Very narrow, like narrow. So it would be crumped, crouching down and pushing. And also it was the getter, which is the, the oldest and strongest one. Mostly older men, um, like young teenagers. They were basically in charge of mining the coal with a pickaxe and they were the only ones that had a light, that had a little candle because they had to know where to pickaxe. Um, now, and not only were the jobs dangerous, but also getting to it because some mines were drifts and these drifts were basically cut, in, cut alongside mountains. So they had a very steep way up to go through and they could fall off if they were being too childish or something like that and then the other ones were the were the shafts which are the most common ones that are very 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 deep 
the uh, the only way you could get in and out were, was through like a rope and a basket so yeah it was it was terrible the children would die of like lung cancer anything a lot of a lot of health issues basically because of the methane gas and what is it the the what you call it the coal that would go into their lungs so eventually, yeah, by age 25, they basically just died. Um, yeah, they just had a lot of health problems and it was just sad because you kind of had to do it because there was no other way of living. So yeah, I just wanted to talk about that. Um, I'm probably going to make another video kind of related to this involving the 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 which, the chimney the chimney sweepers like yeah, i'm gonna do a little video on that as well all right so i go i hope you guys enjoy your 710 holiday bye